come in discussion tonight with a very special panel in Canberra, Natalie Forrest from Prime, who's talking to us. We've got Daisy Dumas from the Sydney Morning Herald doing the campaign diary, only a week to go. And Rowan Dean, spectator, um, Financial AFR, review. AFR, Thank AFR. You. Oh, look, there's just so Thank many. You, and a book coming up, <laughs> Google him. Now, we were just talking before the break about trying to make it interesting. Julian Assange. You know, while we're talking about twerks, or was that jerks? Um, <laughs> Julian Assange, whose party started to implode last week, half of them went off, it's, it's a disaster. How does he reply? He puts out a YouTube, you know, parody, cute. Of course he would use the internet. Here's a taste of it, see what you think. Get back in the kitchen. Australia isn't growing up enough to elect women. Take a suppository of wisdom. You press the this victim. The people are with me. Look at me knitting. Ah, shot in the back. Again? Here's Kevin. Uh, back to commence the bloodshedding of the Red Wedding. We wait, wait, I'm told there might be another challenger. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? Bloody oath. What message do you want to say to the populace? You're the life of the past demanding. Make it bright and make Okay, Natalie, we've been talking each week here about how if you're going to get hits on something, it's got to be funny, it's got to be funky. Does a good YouTube or a good parody like that overcome the fact that your entire political party is a joke? Well, I don't know that I would call it a good YouTube. Um, my concern is that uh, Julian may have actually inspired John Farnham uh, to sense the opportunity for yet another comeback to her. And He's let's face it, Australia really to does not need that. Um, but look, I think he's been in the uh, Ecuadorian embassy way too long. He must be going a bit <laughs> stir crazy. And somebody really needs to introduce him to the Candy Crush app. That's all I've got to say. All right, I'm going to show my ignorance here. What's that? <laughs> it, it's, it's a game. Uh, on, oh, okay, on, uh, sorry. Your Don't iPhone, do games, so. sorry. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Daisy, what did you think of it? I know you said you only watched it briefly. It can't have been that fabulous because I only watched it briefly I too. I honestly don't know where to begin on this one. And I've, <laughs> I've, been, I've seen a lot of funnies this, this, um, in this yeah. past four weeks and that one is... Not uh, up there? Almost, yeah, you almost just can't go near it. It's just too weird. <laughs> too weird, OK. <laughs> Julian Sudge, too weird. Well, well, I think if the Yanks don't uh, lock him up now, I mean, I think most Australians would support, <laughs> exactly. support them if they dragged him off so to Guantanamo and we never hear from him again. So wearing advertising creative director hat, <laughs> what would your advice to him be? Uh, well, we've already learned that you don't... You know, Australian politicians doing Australian pop stars and rock stars doesn't work. It didn't work for Craig Emerson. He tried it <laughs> twice. It certainly hasn't worked for Assange. It didn't even work for Peter Garrett doing Peter Garrett, you know, so, I mean... <laughs> I think Australian rock stars and politicians don't mix. Let's keep them apart. So that's no good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go, as this is our last show, yes, this time next week, it will all be over, people. <laughs> promise. But you'll be watching Sky. It will be such fun. But I want to go to highlights and lowlights of the campaign. Now, Daisy, this was your first ever Australian yeah, election, I guess. It was. So just taking it, you know, being fair, looking sensibly at it. Oh. How did you find it? I don't think I can be sensible. It just ha <laughs> they haven't given me enough sensible material to be sensible with. So I've um, been very silly and it's been it's been a lot of fun. Um, but I mean it's it's What just... impression have you been left with about this election? Writing that campaign diary each day. I have to say I th I slightly disappointed with who the lineup is really to vote for, you know. I don't feel as as a voter that I'm I've got my fair dues, but um I suppose that's the main takeaway from it. But, um, no, it's been great fun to cover. Um, what were the items, if you had your highlight and your low light, the funniest item that you couldn't believe and maybe... I still, I still think that um, old James Six Pointless Diaz is <laughs> up there. I mean, he, the, the, the pointlessness of it all is just brilliant. How could that, that was that's really gone down in history. Um, yeah, and, and he'll then, still win I mean, I, where do I begin? I mean, there's just there's so many. Abbott's kissing. Uh, the babies. He's or kissed the nuns. babies. He's the kissed nuns. The nun on the lips twice. <laughs> that was not good. We never And then the, the head, the, 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 one that mm. hit the woman's head. Um, he's just kissed willy nilly, left, right, and centre, blanket bombing, just kissing everywhere. Kissing the yep. low point. Rowan? Okay, well, I'll go to a high point, and it's a serious one. Uh -huh. I actually thought Tony Abbott's uh, speech at his launch with the two daughters and, and that whole thing was superb. Two daughters were great. Absolutely. The two daughters were fantastic, mm. but Tony Abbott himself mm. was at his most prime ministerial. We've seen it before once or mm. twice, budget reply speech but that was fantastic that for me was a 
key mm -hmm. moment of the you campaign. Would. He can no, do more, it. <laughs> much more than that. I thought really, really excellent. Impressive. The low light, or, or but I also think it was a highlight. For me, the moment, and I'd love to see the facts and figures on this, but the moment it turned bad for Kevin Rudd, really turned bad, was that Liberal Party spoof ad where they just cut together mm. all <laughs> the <laughs> shots the of flicking. him flicking his hair left yeah. and right, and they just got one news conference and they edited it down. Would have taken them half an hour, and, but but it showed that narcissism and this sort of mm. it's all about me, it's all about Kevin, it distilled all the fears that people have about Kevin And Wright. forced him to have a haircut and stop <laughs> flicking. Uh, Natalie, what was your highlight or low point? Uh, probably the, the low point or high point, however you want to look at it. Um, the the six-point plan stuff, up obviously, is, is just pure gold. Um, I, I think Julian Assange just... It's so out of character for him. He's always been so uh, together and so stoic and, and, and put together. That kind of really um, made me laugh a little bit. But, look, I, I'm hoping that the highlights and the lowlights are still yet to come. I mean, we've got <laughs> oh, a few days I left. I love you. You're an optimist. <laughs> yeah. An optimist. <laughs> right, yeah. two quick things to end with, and I left it right till the end because we had a lot of Qua Clive twerking. Do you think that did him any good? I mean, it put him up there, but it doesn't no, help, it, does it's it? made him a joke. And, you know, he, he's a businessman. People know him as a, as a millionaire magnate. He could have run on a, on a, a solid right-wing ticket of I'm a serious businessman, I'll support the Liberal Party, but I'll do it from a business perspective. He blew that completely. Daisy? I think, given at times this... Um, campaign has felt like a, it could be bottled as a cure for insomnia. I think <laughs> actually that he is colourful and it gave everybody a bit of a laugh and disagree with his policies or not, um, he is a breath of fresh air in terms of something oh, a bit different. One vote either way. <laughs> Natalie, you have got the deciding vote on twerking and Clive. Well, I actually feel a bit violated after watching <laughs> that vision. I think it's quite horrible. Um, but I don't think you'd see Barack Obama or, uh, you know, David Cameron uh, shaking their booty like that. No. Um, Vladimir Putin, look, maybe after a few vodkas, um, he's a bit unpredictable. But, Boris Yeltsin um, comes to mind, and I have yes. to tell you, Peter Costello doing the Macarena with Kerry Ann Kenley, which is why <laughs> I'm not Kerry Ann Kenley, I wasn't doing it. Just before we leave, we've got a shot of the latest thing very quickly. You heard it here first. The sex party, yes, there is one, are bringing out condoms for every single party. There's a Lib, there's a Labor, there's a green condom. I don't know why, but I thought you needed to know that. But unfortunately, <laughs> we've run out of time. I'm going to say thank you to our wonderful panel tonight. Natalie Forrest, Prime in Canberra. Daisy Dumas, you can read her in the Sydney Morning okay. Herald campaign diary another week to go. Rowan Dean, get his thank book. You. It will be launched next week. He will no doubt be everywhere telling you about it in a good way. And that's it from me. Thank you very much for your time on these Saturday nights. It's been fun. And do tune in next week. It won't be Saturday Live, but it will be even better, I promise you.